What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the untethered cool booter. For those of you who do not know, the cool booter is actually an application available for the iOS jailbroken that pretty much uh, gets you two different iOS versions running on the same iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. So pretty much let's say you're running iOS 9.3.5 or iOS 10.3.3. You can dual boot that using cool booter and have like iOS 6.0 and iOS 10.3.3 or iOS 9 or iOS 8 at the same time. Now, most of you probably know about Cool Booter, but a couple days ago, the developer behind it released an untethered package for it. What is an untethered, you may ask? Well, just like an untethered jailbreak, it allows you to pretty much boot directly into the exploited thing. It doesn't require you to go ahead and open the Cool Booter application and then boot into the secondary OS. You can boot directly into the secondary OS without even touching the device. You just power it on and it boots to iOS 6, for example, which is quite good because it wasn't possible up until now. So what are the prerequisites for this to happen? Well, at first, you must have a 32-bit device. Cool Booter application doesn't support 64-bit devices. Then, on that 32-bit device, you must run on a jailbreak that is untethered for this to happen. It's not going to work with Phoenix, it's not going to work with Helix or whatever. So, you will have to pretty much go ahead and downgrade your phone from iOS 10.3.3 or from iOS 9.3.5 if you're running on an older device like the iPhone 4S or the iPod Touch 5th generation to the iOS 8.4.1. You can do that relatively quickly since iOS 8.4.1 is signed via OTA blobs. You can see a tutorial on how to do that in the description down below, so check it out if you want to learn how to downgrade. And here on the iOS 8.4.1 you have an untethered jailbreak that is the ATA soon jailbreaking here, which means that you will not have to deal with signing every seven days and once you jailbreak you will be jailbroken forever. So after you install that jailbreak you will be able to install the newly released cool booter untether package and for example if you have dual boot with uh, cool booter on iOS 8.4.1 and iOS 6.0, you can make the iOS 6 your primary OS and when you power on the device, it will boot directly to iOS 6. If you want to boot back again into the newer OS, you will have to hold the volume down button while it boots. So let's do that. This is pretty much the fury and this is pretty much the briefing for the uh, cool booter and tether. Let's see how we can uh, install it. So I'm going to switch to my device that is currently an iPod Touch 5th generation since it's a 32-bit device. It runs iOS 8.4.1. Again, if you don't know how to install 8.4.1 untethered on your device, check out the tutorial down below. Also, if you want more info on how to use Cool Booter, there is a tutorial for that. So yeah, I'm back here on the uh, device and it's currently running the 8.4.1. This means that I'm able to use the ATA soon jailbreak in here, which is an untethered jailbreak. This is very important since this means that I do not have to buffer with signing every seven days and I do not have to jailbreak every time I reboot my phone. It will be automatically jailbroken when it powers on, which is quite nice. And this doesn't happen, unfortunately, on iOS 10.3.3 or on 9.3.5. If you have an iPhone 4, you can also do that. And the iPhone 4 is also supported in the cool booter. And the iOS 7.1.2 Pango jailbreak from the iPhone 4 is also untethered. So you're good in that aspect. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead here. This is a cool booter application. If you don't know how to use the cool booter, then if you don't know how to install a second OS using it. I'm not going to cover it in this video because I have a tutorial for that that can be found in the description down below. Please keep in mind that you can use Cool Booter even if you're not on an untethered jailbreak, but you will need to go ahead in this application and press boot every time you want to boot to the secondary OS. Using this tutorial that we're making right now, you will not have to do that anymore. You will boot directly into that OS. So as I said, normally I will have to press boot and it would go to iOS 6. I don't want to do that. I want it to go automatically. So what we need to do is to go in CDM and make sure, of course, we have the uh, repository for the cool booter. And I'm going to press done in here. 
there we go. The repository for it is the coolbooter.com and in here if you press you can find the system folder and the coolbooter on Tether. So we're going to install the on Tether for it. I'm going to press install and that's pretty much it actually. I'm going to confirm it. And after it installs, you will be able to get directly to the iOS 6, 7, 8 or whatever you're dual booting. So um, yeah, this is very useful if you are not interested in the newer version and you would like to have like that old design all the time. You will still be able to get back to the uh, iOS 8.4.1 for example, if you need the newer version, by pressing and holding the power down button while the device boots. That way it will not boot to the old OS, it will boot to the new one. So now that I have the uh, package installed, I can go ahead and confirm that it's installed. So uh, we're going to open CD again, go to the installed, and you can see that the cool booter on Tether is pretty much installed in here. So what you need to do is to pretty much restart your phone now. And if you have an installation of uh, cool booter in here, like this, and you can see that I do have one because it has the boot and the uninstall. Uh, I can pretty much restart the phone now and instead of going to the 8.4.1, which is booted right now, it will go directly to the iOS 6 without my intervention. So I'm going to be right back and show you what is up. Okay, so this is the uh, device, it's currently powered off, it's not connected to the computer in any ways. So now, when we boot it, it should directly go to iOS 6 instead of going to the primary OS, which is iOS 8.4.1. Now, spoiler alert, this will take a little bit longer than normal, since it has to pretty much load the components of the iOS 8 first, then it will load the components of the iOS 6. It will not boot into the iOS 8 per se. It's not going to show you the home screen of the iOS 8.4.1, but it will still have to load the components like iBoot, LLB, iVec, IBSS in the case of uh, recovery, uh, the kernel cache, and pretty much all the other texts uh, and components. So it will still have to load pretty much the entire OS, but then it will switch automatically without your intervention to the iOS 6's components, which are again the iBoot and the kernel cache and so on. So you can see that it shows the Apple logo of the iOS 8. Let me fiddle a bit with the lights so that you can see. And um, it will take, as I say, a little bit longer than normal. You can see now that it still shows the Apple logo. It will change again to a spinning wheel, which is pretty much just like shutting down your phone or something. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I can certainly see it. And um, yeah, it's in there. And that spinning well pretty much will change into the Apple logo from the iOS 6 automatically. You can see I'm not even touching the device, so I didn't press on the cool booter. And you can see that instead of a normal Apple logo, I chose to have the verbose boot, which I find very interesting. And it's pretty much booting now into the iOS 6 automatically. Again, if you want to go back for some reason to the iOS 8, when it's booting, you will press the uh, volume down button and you will keep it pressed up until you see the device booted. So we're back to the uh, iOS 6 and I so love this design in here. So let me open an application or something like the clock. You can see it works pretty fine. So this is pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated if you didn't already. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumb up. And again, thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.